Thank um, you. I have one last question mm -hmm. before we do Lemon 7. Um, you talked about the analogy of um, the football. Oh, yeah. And having yeah. Ethan right there yep. under your arm. Mm -hmm. Is he still there today or where where is he? Do you still, you know... Is he... mm. That's an, I'm not been asked that question. Uh, and it might make me... I've held myself together. Um, take your time. No. <laughs> Uh, that's a good question. You just, you know, because the his physical being, it's funny. We tell this story of like what to do with him, yeah. his physical, like his ashes. Like we all, we all wear him. We all, we all had like custom jewelry made that they put a little tiny bit of, you know. Mm. So, um, like you know, I don't, you know, we just have done things like that. Where is he? He's in a good spot, right? Like. He's no longer under my arm. I don't have to carry. I, I can acknowledge that he's gone. Um, I he, he, We had an incredible, you know, 20 years together. But, um, okay. But where is he? I'm not sure where he is. That's he's up in heaven is, somewhere. Uh, absolutely. He's happy. Yeah. We're glad Zana's with him. You know, we were fortunate to spend a summer with Zana. She was super sweet. Mm -hmm. We've kind of made it a policy to... Um, not talk about the other kids because honestly, as a mom, I don't want anybody to talk about either. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. very protective. Like yeah. I yeah. reserve the right to talk about my son. Yeah. Um, and so, but we did. She was beautiful. Uh, you know, it's weird. You you just think whatever makes you comfortable, right? In the in the process. And so, you know, the fact that they're together, you know. Well, that's wonderful. I don't know. You yeah. know, yeah. Um, that is an interesting question. I know. Yeah. I don't know. Right. Why is At the time, doesn't... I just didn't know what to do with him. But you, you go through this. You know, we're a year and a half out, and he, you know, his spirit is up there. It's funny. Jim and I were talking the other day, and I didn't realize that we were doing the same thing. But like, he drives a half hour to to the warehouse where you know our work is, okay. and, um. My, I usually drive. My friend and I hired a tra a trainer to work okay. out. Yeah, you know? <laughs> because that's the only way thing that motivates me to get out and do it. Other yep. than you know, aside yep. from walking the dog. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because we were just the other night. We were like that thirty minutes that it takes us to drive to town is like thirty minutes that we just try to give to Ethan. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, you play his favorite song or something that you know you just. You, you just go there. You don't oh. want to forget. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, That's really beautiful. You know, you just give him a half an hour every day. We genuinely, yeah. you know, there's a couple of songs that are tough to get through. Mm. Um, You know, but you just, but you don't want to forget him. I don't want to ever forget that he was, you know, such a huge part of our life, but it, it dims a little bit. And that, that scares me a little bit. I don't ever want him, his light to, you no. know, go out. But mm. so you just look for little things that, you know, try to make you feel better. You know, it all, I think it makes us all feel better that he's, you know, somewhere with Xana having drinking a Bud Light Lime <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. Cause that was just, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, you just, you just hang on to those things. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, 